Welcome back. We got the RV. And it could have went smoother. Last week. I'll get to that in the next video. This week. I might get to that in the next video. But. Um, this video. I need to. The last two weeks have been nuts. And this video I meant to upload Tuesday. But because of the way the week went, I just didn't have time to get it edited and uploaded. And finally, I'm finally on top of things. The RV is finally roadworthy. And we'll get all caught up on all that stuff between this video and I'm going to upload another one tomorrow. Yeah, today's Friday, so um, this I meant to upload this Tuesday. So this is running four days late. So we're going back four days here in a second. We'll do an, upload another video tomorrow. That'll get us all caught up. I'll tell you about some of the oh, what, what it took to make this happen. It ended up being a little more involved than I thought. It could have went smoother. All right, this video, then another one tomorrow, will be caught up. Without further delay. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Miss Tioga is completely emptied out. What a fiasco. We got the new RV. Spent, got it Friday. Late in the day, it probably was such a fiasco. I don't know what else to call it. We'll go check that out here in a bit. Saturday, Sunday, just moving. I can't believe how much stuff was was in this thing. Anyway, it's all emptied out completely. All everything inside, all the outside storage compartments. And today's the morning I gotta drop it off and hand somebody else the keys to it. I gotta ride back. And that's it. We'll be on with the new one. All right. I wish you could hear that. Somebody's out there fishing and, and singing. <laughs> okay, the deed is done. The Tioga's gone. I dropped it off. And uh, there's a picture of how I last seen her. Never see her again. So the grand reveal of the new RV. I was going to downsize, but I upsized by eight feet. <laughs> Did anybody pick up on that that hint in the last video? The Breaking Bad thing? Anybody remember that motorhome that was used in the Breaking Bad series? The, the Fleetwood Bounder? Well, this is about five years newer than that. And there it is. It's a Class A Fleetwood Bounder. Is that thing massive or what? I'm going to go big for a while. We'll see. I could always downsize again. It's in such nice shape. I get a good deal on it. Um, in this market down here in Florida, I use Class A. There's a, there's, there's a good many of them. And um, compared to Class C's, which seem to be more highly sought after, you know, when you find a good one of those, they're, they're pretty pricey. These seem to be plentiful. So, I need a good solid rig. It has 43,000 miles on it. It has a built-in generator. It only has a 126 hours on it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's a beast. Um, <laughs> I haven't driven it that much. But uh, the little bit that I have, I'm getting the hang of it. I'll be driving that thing like a city bus in no time. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see what happens. 
Oh, Bella really likes it. It's funny how excited she got. When I first got it, we got out of the Tioga. We went, we went over in the Bounder, and she's sniffing around, and she realized it was there was more room. She's running up and back and forth and up on the bed, and, uh, and like that, it's bigger, it's softer, it's comfortable. Bigger bathroom, kitchen, more room. It, it, it is. It's nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it. My only fear is that, you know, I like to get off the beaten trail and back in uh, some places. That's going to limit that somewhat to, you know, but by how much, I don't, I don't know. It might not be that big a deal. I might be happy with a Class A. My guess is, down the road sometime, I'll probably sell this, and I'll probably go back to something a little smaller. I think I got my mind made up, though. You have to go, I think you have to go at least up to 28. Let me see, the Tioga was 26 foot and had a corner bed. I think it's not until you get up to a 28 foot that you begin seeing the ones that have the get dedicated, um, the big, you know, the queen size bed, or at least the full bed, uh, or queen size that, you know, you have more room back there and um, it is nice, I I'll admit. It's, uh, so, and this is, yeah. Eight foot longer than the Tioga. This is 34 foot. We're not going to do the inside tour <laughs> today. I still have. I just got moved in it. And so there's still a couple boxes and baskets and stuff laying around it. It's still a bit of a mess. I need to. Yeah. I spent a lot of time last night. Yeah. We're going to fast forward today. I dropped the Tioga off yesterday. Today's the real. Um, I dropped the Tioga off yesterday. And then last night, I, I stayed up quite a while and, and, and really was getting some things put away. But, you know, there's still a lot to do. So, today was the first day. We came out here to this place. We're in uh, Yankee Town. One, one word, Yankee Town, Florida. And there's this little pool off here. There's some concrete slabs around here. I think maybe it used to be a little picnic area. We've just been hanging out here today. And I needed this day to... It's, I'll admit it, it's a little stressful from the time the Diogo just really, I realized that's the end and the whole uh, RV search and getting this one, uh, it was a little eventful, but now we're in it, uh, so uh, I'm relieved a good bit, and today to come out here and just sit and relax, uh, I needed today, <laughs> so it's right by the road. Here, this little picnic area. I think it was a picnic area. So, yeah, today's the first day just coming out and enjoying this. I needed this badly. <laughs> so, I'm starting to feel human again. Anyway, me and Bella was out walking. We start getting bit. We start getting bit up. I did anyway, so I came in and got some insect repellent and sprayed down, but I even gave her a couple sprays. And uh, put her back inside for for the time being. We barely say hello to her. Bella, 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 Bella. How do you like the RV? I said we got all kinds of room in here. It's fun. <laughs> uh, uh, it's fun running, jumping on the bed. It's going in the shop already, but it's nothing serious that you wouldn't have to do to an RV that's just a year or two old. You know, the brakes, I've, I've felt better brakes before, so, uh, and just like the Tioga, uh, unfortunately, I don't know when I've paid somebody to do the work for me. It's been a long time, but the garage is a thousand miles away, so I'm going to pay to have it done. I'm going to have them take the, you know, jack it up, take the back wheels off, and pull the drums, and, uh, and you know, blow that all out and, and make sure everything's okay and in working order that that's healthy uh, and check the rear end, uh, the differential, uh, the gear oil and I, I want to have that looked at and serviced and if it needs something, the brake shoes or if the wheel cylinders are seeping or leaking a little bit, you know, whatever it needs, I'm going to do that. And the same with the front, I might have a bad front tire at a certain speed it feels like a tire is out of balance. I don't know. Anyway, 
I'm going to have them tires looked at, and I just might put two new. The tires are really nice. They got real deep tread on them, uh, and there's no weather checking on them. I haven't uh, looked at the dates on them yet, but it might get two fresh ones on the front. I'm going to wait till tomorrow and see what uh, see what we find. That'll get probably all new brakes, new front rotors, new calipers, uh, the rubber hoses, pads, the wheel bearings greased. The, so that front end is probably get two new tires and the brakes fully start. Uh, well, it's off. It's not a ton of money. And to have, you know, good brakes is everything. On no matter what you drive. Maybe more so on something that probably weighs. I think it's eight tons. <laughs> the Tioga was six tons. I think this is knocking on eight. So brakes is everything. That's priority one. If it goes in the shop tomorrow, brake job, oil change. That's about it. So in the meantime, we're gonna get moved into it. We're gonna continue that process and. Get back to feeling like I have a road worthy rig. Yeah, it's nice. So once I get a little more done inside, actually I'll show a couple pictures uh, that were on the dealer's website, and I took a couple. Both front seats uh, pivot around towards the, the, the living area. Uh, so there's a little table in here and you know two chairs uh, at it. Uh, so it's nice to watch TV, you know, if I have a, a guest or something. Uh, we're just hanging out or something. It's nice to put a, something on Netflix and just chill. It's a nice social area. And on the other side, there's a couch. And the kitchen's on the near side. The dinette's on the far side. The the it has a full-size bath on this side and then the commode and sink are on the far side so it's a split bathroom but it's roomy it's, it's nice oh, there's an outside shower and then the queen bed and uh, windows all around room to get all around it uh, it's soft it's comfortable I like that <laughs> So that's it. We're going to get her fixed up tomorrow. And then I don't know what. I haven't even looked. I haven't even looked at the map and uh, what, my, what we might be up to next. It's just a bigger process than I, than I thought it was going to be. So we're going to get her in shape and ready to do something. I'm going to start looking at uh, things to do and places to go and, you know, get some get something figured out. Oh, I think the bugs are coming back. Oh, uh oh. So, out here, now I can see it. There's a little bay. There's a little bay, kind of a bay back in here, but out, out there further. That's the Gulf of Mexico. How good this camera is doing right now, but I don't know if you can see that out there or not. That's the Gulf of Mexico out there. So, like I was saying, we're, we're just on the west side of Yankee Town, Florida. A uh, little picnic area to pull off right before you get to. There's a little beach, there's a little beach area down here, and then down a little bit further is the uh, the boat launch. There's a truck and a boat. <laughs> a lot of fishing goes on down here. But that's where we're at. Yeah, I need it today. So, we'll be back soon. We're going to get this thing fixed. And, uh, what a relief. What a relief. So, 
That's it. We're going to get some dinner. I guess I can close this thing up. We're going to think about getting some dinner. That's about it. <laughs> bella bella all right tell everybody so, okay until next time <laughs> all right like comment subscribe that stuff uh till next time uh check back we'll be back soon till next time i'll see you